What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and I want to give you a quick update. Uh, Heidi and I plan on trying to go camping for 4th of July. There is a park that's very close here. We're trying to see if they have spots available for a camp session to where they also have fireworks display, kind of nice. They also have live bands. And again, it's really close, it's just down the street. But I wanted to address a couple of problems with my truck. I noticed that my truck was making a growling noise on the brakes and I replaced the rotors and pads before our last camping trip. So I knew that it wasn't anything to do with that. But there were some other things that are involved with the braking system that could be causing it. And I'll show you what I had to do. And that is replace the brake hose. That's why that brake hose is all shiny and new there. What happens with brake hoses isn't that they so much leak. Some of them do. Most of them, though, they deteriorate on the inside and cause the hose to be a smaller diameter inside. It will push the fluid into the caliper and cause the piston to come out and push the pad against the rotor. But the problem is, is there's no force really pushing that back in the open position to where it's not dragging. And that was what the case was here. So the brake hose needs replaced. Whenever I did that though, the bleeder screw on the caliper snapped off. Not a big deal. I went ahead and got a new caliper. It's going to be delivered a little bit later. I'll go ahead and install that. But I found a bigger problem on the passenger side. This is a radius arm. What the radius arm does is keeps the I-beam from moving backwards or forwards as you drive down the road. There's a lot of force, what they call a radial force, that's the tires exerting on the asphalt. Even though the tire is rolling down the road, there's resistance that's always being pushed on the underside of that tire and being exerted on this rotor and I-beam assembly to go back. The radius arm stops that from moving. It keeps it from going backwards. What happens with these though on these Fords is they get rusty just like my truck and they break. You can see this one is snapped. Now it hasn't snapped all the way but it's really bad. So luckily this happened without me towing and it was just whenever I was pulling in the driveway coming back from uptown. If we go back to the driver's side you can see I've already done this repair before. I did this last year. So it's not such a big deal to replace it. It is a lot of hard work. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to get all this done so I can take this thing out and we can go camping. And I can do a video of a new campground and we can show you some of the highlights of that. I appreciate you watching. This is just our update. Tow vehicles are an issue. Just like your motorhomes, there's mechanical issues that always pop up that you gotta address to keep them running so you can keep on camping. I hope to see you guys out there. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.